All right, so this is part three of our worked example series on the synthesis of aldehydes and ketones, right? So without any further introduction, let's quickly look at the first question. The question says, we need to synthesize this given compound from starting materials containing not more than six carbon atoms. And what we have here is a ketone, correct? Now this ketone has two rings. One is the benzene ring and the other is a cyclopentyl group. Now we of course cannot break these rings so that means the only way we can figure out the starting reactants would be to break either this bond or this bond. Now if I break this bond, let's say this is 2, you can see that one of the starting reactants has only 5 carbon atoms but this one has 7 carbon atoms, 6 carbon atoms of the benzene ring and the 7th carbon of the keto group, correct? So based on the constraints in our question, this cannot be possible. Now if you look at the other approach where we break this bond, I get 6 carbon atoms on either side. The benzene ring which has 6 carbon atoms and here the cyclopentyl group with the carbon of the keto group. So this seems like the obvious way to go. So to recap, our starting reactants should have a carbon skeleton like this. Now one of the most popular ways of synthesizing a ketone is to oxidize alcohols, more specifically oxidation of secondary alcohols will give us a ketone. If we had this secondary alcohol then we can easily synthesize this ketone by a simple oxidation method. Now how do we synthesize the secondary alcohols? For that let's quickly refresh our memory from our last chapter, synthesis of alcohols using Grignard reaction. From our previous chapter we know that reaction of Grignard reagent with formaldehyde gives us a primary alcohol. Reaction of Grignard reagent with any other aldehyde would give us a secondary alcohol and the reaction of Grignard reagent with a ketone would give us a tertiary alcohol. Now since we need a secondary alcohol here, so let's remove these and simply focus on this reaction. Using this general reaction and our idea of the basic carbon skeleton of a reactants, we can easily construct the reactants required to synthesize this alcohol. So the question is which among these would become the aldehyde and which among these would become the Grignard reagent. Now there are two possibilities. Let's say the aldehyde comes from this carbon skeleton and the Grignard reagent comes from here. In that case we get these as the starting reactants. Now the Grignard reagent does have 6 carbon atoms in accordance with our question but if you look at the aldehyde we have 7 carbon atoms here. 6 of the benzene ring and the carbonyl carbon from the aldehyde group, correct? So that means this is not satisfying our condition given in the question which says that the starting materials should not exceed more than 6 carbon atoms, correct? So this is not a good choice. What about the other alternative? In the other case, the Grignard region can come from here and the aldehyde can come from here. So in this case you can see that both the reactants have 6 carbon atoms which satisfies the condition given in our question. So what does this reaction look like? Let's see. Here the R minus of the Grignard reagent attacks the carbonyl carbon of the aldehyde giving us this tetrahedral intermediate which on hydrolysis gives us the final secondary alcohol. This is exactly same as what we wanted, right? Now this secondary alcohol can be easily oxidized to the corresponding ketone by using oxidizing agents like chromic acid which is CrO3 in the presence of H2SO4 or KMnO4 in the presence of H plus ions that is acidic KMnO4 and so on, right? So this is one of the approaches where we are oxidizing an alcohol to ketone. Now there is also another way by which the same ketone can be synthesized. A more direct alternative approach would be to use the Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction. The general reaction is something like this where RCOCl reacts with benzene in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3 as catalyst or any strong Lewis acid to form C6H5COR. Now because the reactants cannot have more than 6 carbon atoms, it means the COCl group should be added to the cyclopentyl group and not to the benzene ring. And when we react benzene with the acid chloride like this, in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3, we get this ketone which has the same exact structure as a desired ketone. Now you see there are many other possibilities and ways in which this ketone can be synthesized so do feel free to explore the other possibilities. So let's look at one more question before we wrap up this video. So in the next question we have an aldehyde and again the same constraint that we need to synthesize this aldehyde from starting materials containing no more than 6 carbon atoms. 
and since we cannot break the ring we'll have to break the bond here to get reactants that have less than or equal to 6 carbon atoms on one side and 2 carbon atoms on the other side. Now if we take the inspiration from our previous example and try to arrive at this aldehyde via oxidation of an alcohol then what should the structure of the alcohol look like? We know that oxidation of a primary alcohol would give us an aldehyde. To get a primary alcohol we need to react our Grignard reagent with formaldehyde. With any other aldehyde we would get a secondary alcohol. So that's not our desired alcohol as is a primary alcohol. But if we used formaldehyde then the starting Grignard reagent should have this structure. Only then we can have a nucleophilic attack like this and get this as our final alcohol. But our starting compound cannot have more than 6 carbon atoms. So based on this the structure of our Grignard reagent should be something like this. If we reacted this Grignard reagent with a formaldehyde of course we get a primary alcohol but that is not the alcohol that we want here. This alcohol has one CH2 group less than the desired alcohol. So if we cannot react a Grignard reagent with formaldehyde what else can we use? How else can we arrive at this primary alcohol using Grignard reaction? Alright so this might be something new but we can use a Grignard reagent or the 6 carbon atom Grignard reagent like this with a reagent called oxyrain to give us a final primary alcohol. So here what happens is the nucleophilic attack opens this highly constrained ring and gives us an intermediate like this. And this intermediate on acidic hydrolysis would give us a desired primary alcohol. And this alcohol can be easily oxidized to the corresponding aldehyde using simple oxidizing agents like PCC. Now of course there are numerous ways in which each of these compounds can be synthesized. An alternate way of synthesizing this aldehyde would be to get a carboxylic acid or an ester and then reduce it to this primary alcohol which on oxidation can give us the aldehyde. But getting to this acid or an ester might involve steps that you might not be familiar with yet. Nevertheless please feel free to explore different ways in which each of these compounds can be synthesized. By doing this you will be able to apply the knowledge of various reactions and reagents that you have studied in this chapter.